Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you about an Arduino compatible which has just crossed my radar. There are three kinds of Arduino. The first is the original, the counterfeit, and the compatible. The original is what you can get from the official distribution channels, such as the official online website. The counterfeit are those that are made to look like the original, and they are so like the original, but simply they are not genuine. You can often find them on eBay or online for a fraction of the cost. And the Arduino compatible is those that are based on the original design since it's open source. However, they are not marketed as the original. They are a derivative. They probably have the addition or removal of certain features. And here I've received in the mailbox a couple of days ago the Citron Maker Uno. This Maker Uno is specifically designed for students learning electronic and programming for the first time. There are certain features in here that makes it interesting and easy for students to learn electronic. Note that this video is in no way sponsored. I actually purchased this board online and I paid the full price for it. Now let's have a look at the features of this Arduino Uno compatible. The Maker Uno comes in a nice little purple box. You see, it is marketed as a Arduino Uno compatible. And on the back of the box, it is stated that this board is specifically designed for students learning electronic and programming for the first time. And it is actually produced by Citron, Arus, as well as Rero. And it's a product of Malaysia. Let's open the box. On the bottom here, you get the Maker Uno. And on the top right, you get the Quick Start Guide and Software Setup. So uh, they are basically showing you how, how to, to quick quickly uh, get started with this board on the Arduino IDE. Now let's take the board out. And we will compare the board with the Arduino counterfeit which is on my left over here. This is what I bought more than 5 years ago. And at that point of time, I did not know that such thing as a counterfeit Arduino. And on the right here is the Maker Uno. We will compare the features side by side. First of all, you get to see that the PCB is uh, purple in color. The sealed screen is white. Uh, this is actually the first time in my life seeing a purple colored PCB. The overall layout in terms of the pin layout is actually the same. So if you have, say, a shield, uh, it is definitely compatible with this board. The mounting hole here is also the same. So you don't have to worry that your shield is not compatible with this. It is noticeable that the board footprint is larger. You can see on the left and the right side here, it is slightly wider. That is because of the series of LEDs beside the digital I.O. here. This series of LED allows us to get some visual feedback when toggling the digital I.O. Oh, you can see the MOSFET over here as well as uh, some resistor probably in pull up or pull down configuration that allows the LED to work without actually uh, affecting the functionality of the digital I.O. So you don't have to modify your code. However, if you say have casing or box to actually put the Arduino Uno, it may not fit as this board is larger. Now let's look at the central uh, brain of the Arduino Uno. Over here, we have the true hole type uh, Amiga 328. And here is also the Amiga 328, except that it is uh, the SMD component. That means you can't remove this and use it elsewhere. The Amiga 16U, on the original Arduino Uno is used for programming the main chip. However, on the Maker Uno, it has been replaced by a CH340G. That means that the drivers that you have to install will be different, but in terms of functionality, it should work exactly the same. The in-circuit serial programming breakout is still over here, but of course, if you are a beginner, 
you do not want to meddle with this because you do not need access to the bootloader. You don't want to screw things up. The reason why I think this still exists here is because of probably some shields actually depend on it. Now let's move on to the power wise. On the original, you have the DC jack input, but on the Maker Uno, you don't see that anymore. That is removed. The USB Type B found on the original have been replaced by the micro USB. Because honestly, who still carries around a chunky Type B USB cable around? Most of the phones that is available in the market up to the past one year have already been using the micro USB, so the cable is easily available and it definitely has a better form factor. Note that on the Maker Uno, you have to power it through the USB 5 volt. That means that if you need to use a battery solution, it is definitely not going to work. The PWF pin are the same, so you don't have to worry about that. What's interesting about this board is the addition of few more components. The first you see here, the buzzer. This buzzer allows us to generate some sound without needing an external buzzer. There's a switch at the side over here, so now it is in the off mode. In the off mode, the pin 8 is actually not mapped to this. That means you can use the pin 8 like any digital I.O. However, if we switch this to the on mode, the pin 8 is now connected to the buzzer. So if you want to use the buzzer, then you have to program it on the pin 8. And there's also a programmable push button here, which is mapped to the pin 2. The back of the board is completely flat. This is because of the full utilization of SMD components. So you don't get any true hole components here. Now we have seen all the features of this board. Let me summarize. This board is good if you are learning electronics for the first time or if you are teaching electronics and programming to students who are learning the first time. This board is not good for those who are considering a battery powered project. Because of the lacking of on the features on the voltage regulator, uh, it is not possible to power this board using battery. And if you need the board to be power optimized, like low power consumption, this board is definitely not the way to go, unless you want to modify the voltage regulator that is on this board. I wish that I have come across this board, or at least the board would have existed many years ago when I was still teaching electronic and programming to high school students. I received a mail a couple of days ago that Cytron is planning to put this Maker Uno on Kickstarter at the end of this month. I will post the link below when the Kickstarter campaign has begun. And you definitely don't want to miss this chance. Especially if you are teaching electronic, make sure to buy in bulk so that you get the best price possible. With that, it is the end of today's video. Bye-bye.